。好啦，咁我哋而家講呢個 rate of decay and uses of radio nucleus。咁點解分兩段片呢？同之前個 alpha、beta 加埋 radiation 咁，純粹就係覺得太長嘅。咁都係一樣啦。咁嗰啲 PPT 呢，就係呢個 active physics 同埋呢個 physics and m a t h tutors 嘅 materials。好啦，咁每一種呢個 radio active materials 呢，咁都有佢自己嘅 half life 嘅。咁呢度就 list 咗啲常用嘅 half life 出嚟啦。咁當然係唔需要記啦。除咗呢個 carbon fourteen。咁 carbon for him 咧，最好就記住佢係 five thousand and seven hundred years。咁誒、呃、IEL 未必用到嘅，咁但係澳大咧就可能成日要用到啦。Okay， so half life cannot be changed by any physical or chemical means。無論喺任何條件嘅情況之下咧，個 half life 都係唔改變。譬如誒、呃，千祈唔好同佢將呢、這個誒。呃 rate of chemical reactions low 咧，譬如你 temperature increase 或者 pressure increase 嘅時候咧，你有時個 rate of chemical reactions will be increased。However, for the half life, uh, the environmental parameters doesn't change it。咁 half life 咧就係佢係嗰種 materials 嘅 half life 就係咁啦，永遠都唔會改變嘅。OK。咁關於 activity 咧，其實上年就已經講過，咁 activity 咧其實就係每秒。有幾多個 decay products 或者 alpha、beta、gamma radiations are received or emitted by the radioactive materials？ 咁佢 units 咧就係就係有幾多粒嘢飛出嚟啦，每一秒。咁有個專業啲嘅名詞嘅，唔係名詞嘅 units 咧就係 becquerel。Okay， so the short form is bq。好啦，咁睇下呢個例子啊。咁原本我哋有八個呢個 undecayed nuclei。咁經過咗一個 half life 之後咧，咁佢剩翻幾多個？剩翻四個 undecayed nuclei 係咪？咁其他嘅四個咧就會放喺呢個 case 咧就放咗四粒 electrons 出嚟啦。咁所以咧佢嘅 becquerel 咧就係四啊。好啦，咁繼續啦，而家有四個 undecayed nuclei。咁過咗一個 half life 之後，佢剩翻兩個啊嘛。咁所以咧佢喺呢個情況之下就會放兩粒出嚟嘅 becquerel 就係二。咁一樣啦，如果兩個會放一個咁 b a c c u r e l 就係一，所以呢，你可以見到呢個 activity is directly proportional to the number of undecayed nuclei。OK， undecayed nuclei。咁其實呢個係廢話嚟嘅，呢條式你睇落去咧好似話幾型咁喎。咁其實就係而家嘅 activity 呢，就等於佢原本嘅 activity 再乘呢，佢經過咗幾多個 half life 咧？因為佢每經過一個 half life 呢，就二分一，譬如經過三三個 half life 之後，咁就正變咗原本嘅八分之一。咁係唔需要記呢條式。咁個圖就係咁樣啦 ，OK。So if the original activity is 1000 and after one half life, then it becomes 500. After two half life, becomes 250. And then, uh, so now to define the decay constant. 咁咧嘅 a 咧就等於 k 乘上 n。好啦，咁呢個 n 係咩嚟 ？n 咧就係而家有幾多粒啊 undecayed nuclei。k 咧就係呢個 probability。A 咧就係呢個 activity 啦，咁譬如咧上一年講過呢個例子，譬如你而家有一百個同學，呢、這個 K 咧就係二十個 percent， 咁嘅 activity 會係幾多啊？咁就有二十咯，即係咩意思咧？呢、這個就係 K 咧就係有幾多個 probability 嗰啲 undecayed nuclei 即係會 decay， 咁 decay 嘅時候就會有 activity 啊嘛，咁如果 twenty percent there are there are one hundred undecayed nuclei。嘅 t e n d e r activity will be twenty。咁所以咧 ，k 咧其實係一個 probability of decay per unit time。咁佢嘅 unit 咧，因為佢係 probability per unit time 啊嘛，咁 probability 係冇 unit 嘅，咁 per unit time 即係 per second。所以 it can be per year or per month 都得嘅。好啦，咁譬如。誒、呃、有一個 sample 咧，咁呢個 decay constant 咧係 zero point two， 即係咩意思咧？咁就係每一秒咧，佢有 twenty percent of the undecayed nuclei will be decayed。咁譬如咧，佢有五粒啦原本，咁咧過咗一秒之後咧，咁有一粒咧就會 decay 咗，咁其他咧就係未 decay 嘅。OK。咁呢兩條式咧，其實我哋就已經學過啦。咁 n 咧就係而家嘅 value。啊，剩翻幾多個 value 啊？唔係 decay 咗幾多，係剩翻幾多 remainder 啊 ，undecayed or the remainder nuclei。咁咧上年就已經講過啦。咁呢個字咧可以換嘅，即係你可以將佢換做 n， 換做 a， 換做 mass， 啊，換做乜鬼嘢都得嘅。OK， 反正係同 amount 有關嘅嘢咧就得啦。
。好啦，咁呢個 radioactive decay 啊、uh, follows exponential decay， so both numbers of undecayed nuclei in and activities decrease exponentially with time t。咁因為佢 decay exponentially 啊嘛，咁所以個圖就咁。但係因為咧佢 decay exponentially， 所以其實基本上佢永遠都唔會跌到零。佢要時間喺無限遠嘅時候咧，先會跌到零啦。咁所以記住你畫呢個圖嘅時候咧，就唔會貼住呢個 x s。好啦，咁咧呢個啊廢話嚟就呢個 as the numbers of undecayed nuclei drops by half for every period。咁所以咧，我哋就有呢條式啦。系咪？咁所以咧，你就可以得到呢嚿嘢，因为佢而家咧 ，undecayed 嘅咧就系原本嘅一半，咁就等于 original numbers。呢、这个 t 咧，我哋就将佢代 half life， 咁咧我哋就可以计到呢个 half life 咧，其实就系等于 natural log two over k。咁所以呢一版咧，成版讲俾你听啲乜嘢咧，就系讲俾你听呢个 half life 同呢个 decay constant 之间嘅关系。咁点样求出嚟咧？就系、是、因为 half life 系一半嘅时间，咁就会剩翻一半啊嘛，系咪？喺經一半嘅時間就會剩翻一半嘅 nucleus， 咁所以咧我哋就可以 derive 到呢個 relation 出嚟啦。So the decay constant of a radial nuclei depends only on the half life。咁咧同啱啱講嘅一樣，咁啊唔會受到温度改變，唔會受到其他任何嘢改變，咁啊淨係會受到呢、這個佢原本呢個 type of substance 改變嘅啫。咁我哋嚟睇一條例題，咁樣最好就自己做先啦。So scientists have worked out the age of the moons by dating the rock spots back to by the Apollo missions. They used the decays of potassium-40 to stable the agon-40 in the rocks. So the process has a uh, half-life 1.3 times 10 to 9 years. So in one rock sample, the scientists find 0.84 mu g of Al-40 and 0.1 mu g of potassium 40. So use the data above to calculate the age of the moon. 好啦，咁咧我哋而家有嘅係 mass 啊嘛，係咪？咁所以咧我哋就用 mass equals to m 0 t negative k t。好啦，但係問題嚟啦，啊，咁我哋 decay 之前嘅 mass 同誒而家 undecayed 嘅 mass 係幾多咧？咁我哋由乜嘢變咩嘢？你睇清楚。咁我哋由 potassium 變 Al 啊嘛，係咪？咁所以咧個 undecayed mass 即係仲未 decayed 嘅 potassium 咧，咁就好簡單，就係 zero point one mu g， zero point one mu g 咁就 times ten to negative six。好啦，咁佢喺 decay 之前總共有幾多咧 ？decay 之前咧係咪其實就係應該係 zero point eight four？ Plus zero point one times ten to negative six e negative k t. 好啦 ，k 點樣轉？點樣可以 link k to 啊、uh, the half life 啊？咁咧 k 就係 equals to natural log two equals to half life times t. 咁 t 就我哋要揾啦 ，natural log two 啦嘛，計數機啊 ，half life 咧就喺呢度啦。但係而家問題嚟啦，咁咧。點解我哋知道呢個 original mass 係 zero point eight four plus zero point one 嘅？咁其實就係好彩嘅啫，因為 IAL 啲題目咧，其實佢唔會出到咁難啊嘛。因為咧，佢呢度係四十，見唔見到 potassium 咧 ？undecayed 嘅時候係四十，咁啊 decay 完之後咧，個 mass number 咧係冇改變嘅。decay 完之後個 mass number 咧係冇改變，咁所以我哋可以將呢嚿嘢直接相加 ，OK？ 唔係呢個情況之下咧，咁你就自己扣翻個 t 出嚟，咁就得，聽唔聽？咁呢個 t 應該係 ten to nine years 啊，唔知點解跌咗落嚟啊呢個九。咁其實我哋直接代公式入去計就得啦。佢呢個 lambda 咧就係、是、我哋用嘅 k。我繼續啦，咁我哋而家就會講解一下咧 ，different uses of the radial nuclei。咁咧，我哋揀呢個用處嘅時候咧，我哋考慮兩樣嘢。第一就係佢會放啲乜嘢 radiation 出嚟，譬如 alpha 嘅用處同 beta 同 gamma 一樣。第二咧就係個 half life， 咁譬如太短或者太長咧，咁啊冇乜意思啊，揀嚟係咪
誒、嗯、第一個最常見嘅咧就係 the carbon fourteen dating。咁咧呢個人未死嘅時候咧，咁佢個 carbon fourteen 嘅 value 寫其實係 remain constant。咁啱啱死嘅時候咧，個 value 都係一樣，應該係。啊，咁但係死咗一個 half life 之後咧，咁呢個人嘅啊 activity 就會變咗原本嘅一半。咁咧死咗兩個 half life 之後咧，就會變咗原本嘅四分一。咁咧，我哋用呢個 properties 咧，咁就可以知道咧一樣物體咧，啊，咁佢嘅生產年份係幾耐？咁但係你記住咧，咁係要動植物先用得嘅，即係就係動植物先會吸吸收呢個 carbon fourteen。咁譬如你想 detect 一嚿石頭咧，咁啊冇用嘅呢、這個 dating。咁同埋你諗下，如果俾一份 document 嚟，你做咗呢個 carbon fourteen dating 咧，譬如你做咗係三千年前嘅，咁係咪代表呢份 document 係三千年前寫啊？唔係，咁只不過代表張紙咧。係三千年前嘅紙，即係個做嗰張紙嘅植物咧，係三千年前死嘅、啊。好啦，咁我哋而家嚟做一條好長嘅題目啦。咁咧，你自己慢慢睇啊。咁但係由呢度開始先係有用嘅，所以我決定唔睇啊。上面嗰啲、啊、但係你到時考試你自己要睇啊。咁咧呢、這個 ，they contain atoms of radioactive isotopes carbon fourteen， so which has the half life three 啊 five thousand seven hundred and thirty years。So the decade of carbon fourteen can be used to determine the age of the objects. So this process is called the radial carbon dating. In one part of the so two hundred and fifty-five over two hundred and fifty-six of the carbon fourteen atoms have decayed. So determine the age of this part of the sampled. Okay. 咁咧，就係 n equals to n zero e negative k t undecayed 係幾多啊？而家咧有二百五十六粒原本，你可以咁諗啦。原本有二百五十六粒，二百五十五粒都 decay 咗，所以剩翻一粒。咁咧原本有二百五十六粒 negative k 係 e negative k k 咧就係 natural two over half life 咁啦嘛 over。5730， 咁呢個 T T 計出嚟就 years 啊，因為咧你呢度下面咧係用 years 嘅，咁所以計出嚟咧就係 years。咁我哋繼續睇下啦 ，some parts were performed are were formed much more recently， so how would this affect the carbon fourteen concentration？ 咁咧呢個 formed much more recently， 咁即係啱啱先死啊，啱啱先死咪 fresh 啲咁啊，多多啲 carbon fourteen， 咁所以 concentration 咧就會多啲。However, scientists have found that the levels of carbon-14 when the oldest part、uh, were formed was twice the modern level. So discuss the effect on the validity of the radial carbon dating. 咁呢個時候就出事啦。嗱，你諗下，我哋用 carbon-14 dating 咧，咁其實有個 prerequisites 嘅，就係咧我哋 assume 咧。呢、这個成個地球咧個 carbon fourteen 嘅 concentration 咧係一個 constant 嘅，咁係因為佢係一個 constant， 我哋先 compare 到嘛。咁譬如咧佢幾萬年嚟咧一直都係一千嘅，咁跌到去五百，咁我哋就知道過咗五千七百三十年啦，即係 half life。咁但係咧，如果呢個 level 咧唔係 constant 咧，咁其實我哋就 compare 唔到咯。譬如佢由一千跌到去誒二百。呃咁但係我哋唔知呢個減少咧，係因為呢個地球嘅含量減少咗啊，定係因為個 sample 死咗？咁所以咧，如果呢個 carbon fourteen 嘅含量咧唔係一個 constant 嘅話咧，咁用呢個 dating 咧就會唔準確啊。咁所以咧，其實就係應該係 not to be 嘅，就係咧喺呢個情況之下。我哋一齊睇一睇後面嗰個 answer。好啦，咁咧呢個就係計算出嚟個 answer， 啊應該啱噶啦。咁咧如果佢係新鮮啲嘅 sample 咧，咁應該 concentration 就會大啲。咁最下面就係講啦，如果以前呢個 concentration level 咧 twice to the modern level， 咁會發生咩事？咁第一個就係唔準啦。咁呢個 twice original concentrations gives greatest portions measured now， and the object seems younger than it actually is。咁呢個有啲複雜。點解呢？嗱，因為我哋譬如呢個 carbon fourteen 先係點樣整呢？首先咧，我哋就 assume 呢個地球嘅 carbon fourteen 嘅 concentration 係唔會改變嘅。咁咧，我哋譬如而家地球度到一，跟住喺個 sample 度度到零點五，咁係咪過咗一個 half life 啊
我哋覺得佢過咗一個 half life 咁就係 five thousand seven hundred and thirty years。咁但係呢個 sample 呢，唔係而家整㗎嘛，譬如佢喺幾萬年前整，幾萬年前呢，如果 carbon fourteen 嘅 concentration 呢，唔係一，咁按佢嘅講法呢，咁係二，係咪？因為兩倍啊嘛。如果我哋而家 detect 到零點五，咁係咪過咗兩個 half life 咁？所以佢真實嘅歲數應該係 two times five thousand seven hundred and thirty 啊。咁所以呢個 carbon fourteen dating 嘅一個問題係咩問題呢？就係、是、我哋。啊，鬆咗呢個地球 carbon f o u r t e e n 嘅 concentration 係一樣，如果唔一樣，我哋又唔知嗰個年份嘅 concentration 咧，咁所以我哋就做唔到呢個 dating 嘅係，好似呢個情況咁，我哋因為確定唔到呢個 original level 係幾多咯，就算我哋知道而家係零點五咧，我哋根本唔知佢過咗幾多 half life， 我哋唔知係夠佢究竟係由二去到零點五啊，定係由一去到零點五咯，咁所以咧。呢、这個 sample 啫，就會 s e e m s younger than it actually is 啊。點解咧？因為佢原本應該由二去到零點五嘅，咁應該過咗萬幾年嘅啦。咁但係咧，我哋以為咧佢係由一去到零點五咯，咁所以我哋以為佢淨係五千幾歲啊，咁所以睇落去就 young 嘅啫。So older parts could have more carbon for him than younger parts. So the technique relies on constant levels. 係啦，因為我哋 assume 咧 carbon f o r t e e n t level 咧係 constant 嘅，咁所以而家就 unreliable。咁同埋咧，因為咧而家呢個 sample 咧 mix 咗啲咩啊 ？mix 咗呢個 old and young carbon f o r t e e n t in one sample， 咁所以呢個 dating 咧係 impossible 嘅，因為我哋分唔到邊啲係舊嘅，邊啲係新嘅，所以我哋直頭確定唔到呢 carbon f o r t e e n t 嘅 level 咯。咁所以我哋就用唔到呢個 dating。嗱，呢個就係其中一個限制。咁咧呢一版咧就係講呢個誒 radiation 咧係有乜用嘅？啊，咁咧譬如喺 medical 上面有乜用咧？咁就係攞嚟殺死啲癌細胞啊。譬如你可以食落去。啊，譬如呢個老師咧就生 cancer。嗱，呢度有 cancer 啦，咁你可以食一粒丸仔落去，咁佢放 alpha beta radiation， 咁就可以殺死呢個 cancer。咁呢可以食住 tracer， 咁譬如呢個上年有講過，譬如你食咗落去之後，佢會去個腦度嘅，咁個腦係咪會放 radiation 啊？咁你攞個 detector 呢就可以 detect 到 radiation 啦，你可以睇到你個腦嘅 image。咁如果你個腦塞咗呢，好似而家咁，咁就有一個地方呢就會收唔到呢啲 radiation。咁呢 industrial 都係一樣啦，嗱呢啲希望你仲記得啦。咁呢 fitness 呢就係、是、啊，譬如一塊板呢度有個 sources， 咁呢。如果塊板嘅 fitness 係一樣咧，咁佢誒 receive 啊 receive 到個 sources 嘅 level 就係一樣啦。啊，如果厚咗或者薄咗，咁就會有 variation。咁 tracer 都係一樣嘅，咁譬如爆水管嘅話咧，你可以放啲 radioactive material 上去咯。咁如果喺呢度流出嚟咧，咁你就會誒、呃、見到呢度有誒、呃、radioactivity 啊。唉，好頭痛啊，嚇到幾個鐘已經。咁咧呢個 smoke detector 咧，咁通常就用 alpha particle 上 smoke detector 其實就兩塊板嚟 ，OK， 咁佢就會放 alpha particle 上，因為 alpha particle 嘅 penetrating power 好低，咁所以咧喺冇火燭嘅時候咧，啱啊，佢可以由呢度去到呢度，咁佢就會 receive 到啲 data。但係如果當有 smoke 嘅時候咧，火燭嘅時候有 smoke 咧，咁就會 block 住 the path of the alpha particle， 所以咁就會 receive no data。receive no data， 咁佢知道有啲嘢入咗呢個 smoke detector， 咁佢就會響。咁咧佢 cultures。誒咁呢個消毒呢，就係、是、譬如啲醫生同你做完手術之後，啲刀唔會掉晒，咁佢就會放喺一個 gamma ray 嘅 box 入面咯。咁放啲 gamma rays 出嚟就可以 kill the bacteria。咁同埋你食嘅士多啤梨呢，咁都係用 gamma rays 去消毒嘅，因為士多啤梨好容易腐爛，如果唔消毒呢，混一混就爛晒。OK， 咁同埋我哋啱啱講嘅 carbon f o r t e e n dating。咁有咩危險呢？我哋 receive 到呢個 radiation 嘅時候。咁譬如咧 ，ionizing to radiations has high energy enough to damage the molecules in living cells, for example, the DNA。咁就即係令到你生 cancer。So which type of radiation is more dangerous？ 記唔記得？咁如果 gamma radiation 咧，咁啊 strongest penetrating power is so affect every part of your human body。誒，因為你俾佢照到咧，咁你嘅心肝脾肺腎都會俾佢照到啦。OK。咁咧 alpha particles 咧 ，if the alpha source is in hot or ingested， 咁咧 strongest Ionizing power, so it causes several damage with human body. 咁如果咧你想毒死一個人咧，咁你就最好等佢飲咗啲 alpha radiation。咁一飲咧，因為 ionizing power 好強咧，咁就會喺身體入邊破壞曬啲 organs。咁
咁就好容易死。但係咧，佢身體出邊咧冇乜影響。如果你想喺出邊殺一個人咧，咁你就要用 gamma radiation。咁呢，我哋睇下呢幅圖啊。咁呢幅圖呢，就話俾你聽，咁樣人體受到唔同嘅劑量，即唔同嘅 intensity of radiation 嘅時候會發生咩事？咁呢，就會有 abnormal blood cells counts， 跟住會嘔啦，係咪、呃？之後呢，會流血啦，甩頭髮啦，跟住就會死啦，跟住就會幾一個禮拜幾個禮拜之後就死啊，跟住即刻死。咁呢，另一樣、呃、大家比較常見嘅，譬如好似 gamma wave 咧 high 誒 electromagnetic waves 啊嘛，咁其實 X ray 都係 high energy electromagnetic waves。咁 X ray 係點樣整出嚟嘅？因為有時 I L 會問，咁所以都係擺喺呢度。咁 X ray 咧就係攞呢個 fast moving electrons to collide with the heavy metal targets。咁佢就會 release 呢個 X ray 出嚟啦。好啦，咁呢嚿嘢係點樣加速㗎？點樣加速啊？諗下。因為 QV 等於 one half mv square， 咁就係用 electric field 或者 potential difference 去加速。咁呢度就係最後咧有啲 summarize 啊。咁呢個好明顯就喺呢度 copy 出嚟啦，因為版權問題啊嘛，當然留個 logo 喺度啦。咁呢個 alpha radiation 咧咁就係呢個 helium nucleus 咁啊 ，stronger ionizing power is no moving。咁呢啲自己睇得啦嚇，你就暫停自己慢慢睇啦。我淨係想講。誒、呃、比較突出嘅應用啦，咁就係 smoke detector， 所以我哋係用 alpha particles。OK， 咁呢 beta 通常用喺邊呢 b e t a 通常就用喺呢個 fitness monitor， 即係譬如啲鋼鐵廠啊、呃，去 detect 佢嘅 fitness 嘅時候呢，我哋就會用 beta 啦。咁伽馬幾時用呢？伽馬通常係攞嚟殺菌，因為佢 energy 太高啦，咁所以可以攞嚟殺菌或者殺嗰啲 cancer cells 咁仲可以用嚟做呢個 medical tracer， 因為呢度有啲 definition 嘅，咁你就自己背咗佢啦。The time it takes for the numbers of radioactive nuclei to half, so for a given isotopes。啊，呢啲自己暗咗 post 嘅，慢慢背。呢度都係。呢個咧就係 nuclear power station 入邊嘅 nuclear reactors 入邊會有啲乜嘢咁你又可以睇一睇呢、這個，上年講咗啦，咁啊唔詳細講。咁咧，我哋 decade 嘅相關內容咧，咁就嚟到呢度啦。因為呢一課咧，其實你 form five 基本上全部學過曬，咁只不過而家係複雜一次，再同你做下啲 high level 嘅題目啊。咁所以大家就多啲做 past paper。就係咁啦，快啲温習，再見。